I was lucky enough to be a part of, um, back in 2008, the Emergent Leaders Program in Tasmania. Um, and through that met some key contacts through GCI, um, in particular Di Henning and Kerry McIver. So yeah, through the 2008 Emergent Leaders Program I was able to go into the CAP program. Um, and the thing about the CAP program is working through and coaching people, um, but also looking at a bit of a change project to implement. Um, through that process I was able to take that back to the school and work through a series of conversations about change and how we would impact change and how through, um, through coaching we would be able to turn that really good intention that we had into a result. That had significant change in what we did in the practice. It certainly changed the way I looked at things and the way I would lead um, and lead teams and lead others. And that's the start of the journey. Well, through those processes, the, that's, that's the great part of the journey. Um, I was able to have some series of conversations with a number of staff and from them encourage them to be accredited coaches. We now have six accredited coaches at the Hutchins School and um, that has had significant change because it's developed a culture of language, it's developed a culture of ownership and it's developed a um, real process driven understanding and way of being that has allowed conversation to lift to a huge degree about how to improve what we do. And that's not just in teaching staff, that is also in terms of our ancillary and support staff. That impact of difference um, across six coaches then asked, well, what's the next step? Um, and that impact has really then worked through a range of uh, opportunities that we've allowed 60 now uh, staff at a peer coaching level, co-coaching level, to be trained and do one day workshops and has really allowed the ownership and the collaboration of staff to talk about improved practice. What is it that we would like to see happen? What is it in, a, in your context do we want to have improved? And that can be from someone at year 12 or someone in the senior leadership team, someone um, now that is teaching kindergarten. It's opened up a range of doors where language is common and provides opportunity for improvement. What we've used in terms of the Australian Performance Standards for Teachers and the Australian Performance Development Framework, we've looked at that to say, well, here's a bunch of standards. Here is you know, a national set of standards that um, teachers across Australia are using. And through that process, we, we've talked about a culture of improving, not proving. So we use the standards to go through that as a self-reflection tool, then as a conversation starter. So the data and the feedback that they get from, those, um, from that self-reflection tool is then able to turn into a peer coaching and, a co and, and um, other coaching sessions. So we use that data against the Australian Performance Standards for Teachers to drive improvement in teacher practice. What does it look like? What do they want it to look like? And how will they know when learning has really been achieved? Slowly, step by step. The, the key thing about coaching and working through anything in change is that you want it to be relevant, you want it to be owned. It can't just be your journey, you need to be able to take people along with you. And the importance of collaboration, developing that relevance and ownership for staff is key. So take those first steps really slowly, embed what it is that you know is right, and then share that vision so that other people can join that journey with you.